starting from z to alt you have been in the ott space and you know we would love to understand what your outlook is as far as ott is concerned uh, because uh, you are one of the best persons we know uh, who know a lot about ott i in fact recently read your article on deccan chronicle as well which actually talks about you know how ott is now becoming global and you know language is not such a barrier per se so you know if you could uh, tell us more about uh, you know what you think about ott that will be fantastic so okay let me say this um, ott is developing in a two parallel stream right now right so we 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 started this journey or rather i started this journey in this industry when ott was not even the mainstay entertainment right nobody knew ott so when we were launching when i was with naiko and we were thinking of launching a ott platform people used to say what is ott uh, uh, what what does it do like uh, my family wondered what i was doing right uh at z5 things had moved up a little bit uh, hotstar was there already in the play and you know amazon netflix were also there so at least with z5 there was this discussion in terms of okay these people have taken up these spaces now where is z5 going to fit in and at that point of time at z5 we came up with the fact that listen when you are angry when you are upset when you are super excited you want to speak in your language aap english mein baat nahi karte ho aap apni matrabhasha mein baat karte ho and therefore we coined the term apni bhasha mein feel hai right from z5 and the fact that z has entertainment as a group had so many languages we decided we'll launch in multiple languages i think regional started taking off from there it was actually z5 that started pushing out regional content on ott prior to that if you look at amazon netflix hotstar they were all very urban focus right so that journey sort of z5 kicked off and then came old balaji which said listen hindi and then started all your hoy choy stage uh, chopal of the words kacha lanka said acha you're doing hindi but then there is so much of my consumer mass which is unserved or underserviced with good content so i think ott is now exploding in two ways very clearly which is basically the urban audience and the regional audience uh, and then of course people like me sitting in between that tend to consume everything but what i strongly feel and which is what i have written and spoken about also it is it's actually uh, the language barrier broke down when the international content was getting viewed by us dubbed in hindi or english right so korean spanish mexican turkish z had been running turkish channels for such a long time dubbed in hindi and women base was the biggest and i know that because I'll, we we shut it down on broadcast and we launched it on z5 and that entire based immediately shifted to z5 right that was one of the strategies we had to actually get more people to engage with z5 so i think it's that part which sort of exploded the idea and people said listen if we can accept international content dubbed in hindi why can't we accept other regions content from india dubbed in hindi it is i mean and box office is absolute testimony to the fact you look at a rrr you look at a jailer uh, you know you look at a pushpa these are all blockbusters right also what is going to happen i think now is when the language barriers are broken down and things are going to get up subtitle and this osmosis is going to be both ways so hindi will get watched dubbed in their language for example sharukh khan movie currently right i was just in chennai uh, and i saw his movie uh, posters and holdings written in tamil right so that osmosis is going to happen both ways this is going to be reflected more so on ott because somehow people are moving from broadcast and coming on to ott more it's the mainstay also i think what will happen is that uh, from a content perspective uh, business of content is going to take over the era of explosively expensive content is over so very big platforms will now be able to possibly afford one or two series like that in a year i mean citadel is under question mark right now right that where did all that money go so that era is over hotstar is uh, already commissioning series uh, 
in a long format with you know cost amortized over a certain amount i know that all this commissioning subsidies as well so that era of uh, ott demanding 70 80 lakh rupees per episode is over now it's it, it's gone it's it's going to be possibly the broadcasting rates per episode which is now going to come in play which is 5 6 lakhs per episode that's the era which is coming in because which basically means ott is becoming mainstay and therefore cannot ex- because you need to buffer up your library you need to make that money work more for you also i believe what is going to happen is ott's are going to become more of content uh, publishing places rather than customer acquisition places because as digital is growing your customer acquisition cost and i've been saying this for the longest period of time has gone through the roof right it's become double triple because there are so many apps fighting in the same space so obviously your google fb and the other publishing inventories have gone through the roof so which is where aggregation and business partnerships step in right so whether it's with telecom firms like jio uh, vodafone or uh, airtel or whether it is in partnerships with various broadband aggregators or it is in partnerships with uh, your typical aggregators like ott play and uh, tata play i think ott platform slowly and steadily except for the top four of them four or five of them will be highly dependent on these aggregations and business partnerships and will be very very conservative with customer acquisition directly so you still have consumers but they come possibly more through partnerships also i think it's time for ott platforms as a strategy to work on the organic growth uh, because as you become mainstay which is what happened to broadcast also right when you become mainstay your organic growth should be much more as an industry if you are becoming mainstay entertainment your organic needs to be much higher you cannot completely depend be dependent on inorganic also content i think uh, you will again have two parallel streams because india is still very much a mobile country so people will still consume content and you know we are we are very particular about our culture so if anybody wants to see 365 days or 50 shades of grey or gandhi bath you're still going to watch it on mobile or alone on your laptop right you're not going to sit with your family and watch it on the television but because ott is now become mainstay for example i have a home of three television sets we don't have channel connection anywhere we are completely now on uh, ott's right um, and uh, the family time typical family time is one hour of watching something together every night and that has to be either drama thriller crime political shows so i've been saying this for the last two years that content itself will evolve into two different streams genre wise as well as cost of business wise and i can see that very much happening right now also uh, like i've been saying uh, ott platforms will really truly have to figure out innovative business models so whether it's t ward s ward a ward Uh, or uh, any other kind of co-production partnerships, etc., or co-marketing partnerships, etc., that they need to do to stay afloat. They need to start thinking like that because, like I've been saying, this is a great time to be in the content production business, but difficult time with 60 plus platforms floating around to be in the OTT business.